Hello students, how are you all? I hope you all have watched the videos of chapter 1 and chapter 2. Today we are going to start chapter 3 that is fiber to fabric. So in this video we are going to see objectives of the chapter, the topics which we are going to learn in this chapter. So the starting with fiber, we are going to learn in detail about fiber, what is fiber. After that, we will see a word yarn, which is almost related to fiber, but it is not a fiber. Okay, so don't worry, we will see all this topic in detail in coming videos. Okay, so don't worry if you don't understand any of the word or any of the letter, don't worry, we will see each and every topic in detail in coming videos. These are the only objectives. Okay, bachcha? So, in fiber to fabric, we first study what is fiber. After that, we will see what is yarn. So, the fiber may be of two types. One can be natural fiber. And another can be synthetic fiber. One can be natural fiber, one can be synthetic fiber. So what will be the natural fiber? A natural fiber is those fiber which are obtained from natural resources. So what are the natural resources? Beta? One is animal. Animal is natural resources or not? Yes, it is. And another is plants. Plants and animals are the natural resources from which we can get a fiber. Such a fiber is known as natural fiber. Okay? We will discuss this in detail in coming videos. So don't worry. And the synthetic fiber. So what is synthetic word means? Synthetic means man-made or artificial. A fiber which are made in laboratory by human beings are called synthetic fiber. But... For standard 6, you have to only focus on natural fiber. The chapter is belong to natural fiber. You will study synthetic fiber related topics in next standard. That is in standard 7. So, for now you have to just remember synthetic fiber are those fiber which are artificial or main made. Made in laboratories using chemicals. Okay, simple. So, you have to just remember some synthetic fiber. One is nylon, another is polyester, and last is rayon. There are many other synthetic fiber, but you have to remember this example for synthetic fiber. If by chance someone asks what is synthetic fiber and give example, so you can Define synthetic fiber and give example like nylon, polyester and rayon. Is it clear students? What are natural fiber and what are synthetic fiber? It is very simple. Natural are from natural resources. Synthetic are made by human beings in laboratories. Simple. Is it clear students? Now we will see the example of natural fibers. So in animal. The fibers which are obtained from animal are, can anyone tell? It is silk and wool. Okay, now just remember the name, we will see in detail. And the fiber which are obtained from plants are cotton and jute. These are the example of natural fiber. The fiber which are obtained from animals are silk and wool. And the fiber which are obtained from plants are cotton and jute. So, these are the topics which we are going to learn in this chapter. Students, second part focus on these topics. The main topics are ginning, spinning and weaving. These are the name of processes in which indirectly this happen 
the basic unit is fiber we convert fiber into yarn yarn into fabric and fabric into clothes this process is done using this ginning spinning and weaving okay in the process of ginning the separation of fiber occurs in the process of spinning we convert fiber into yarn and the, in the last in weaving we convert yarn into fabric and finally fabric to clothes clothes which we wear okay so these are the main topic which we are going to focus in this chapter is it clear students don't worry if you don't understand any of the word or any of the letter in this video we will study each and every word and each and every topic in detail in coming videos these are the only objectives is objectives are clear okay students take care